Do you happen to be CS majors? Like, what could be better than that? One, two, three, four. The people who've done this work are seniors in my senior project class. And they start with a blank sheet of paper and work as hard as they can for 10 weeks and create some absolute masterpieces of ingenuity and creativity uh, that amaze everybody who comes here. And I'm so glad you're going to get a chance to take a look at a few of these projects, and I hope you enjoy the show. Our project is called Savant, and basically in the back of our project we have a huge model, a huge computational model of music, right? And we also model how music can sound good and doesn't sound good. So, for example, we have some important parts in our logic, such as chord analysis, which basically can take whatever jumble of notes you play and interpret it as a certain chord, probabilistically. And we also have the chord generation part in which we generate progressions of chord with chord transitions that make sense and sound good. And so we have another part that takes any random sequence of notes and transform it to fit with a certain chord. Whatever the player plays on the piano, it will be transformed into something that actually fits to the current chord and current scale, such that it always sounds relatively good, much good, much better actually. This of it. Oh, it's remapping the notes to... Yeah, it's That's remapping the genius! <laughs> no, okay, do you want to try jamming? Okay, one, two, three, four. We can, uh, using modern medicine, treat uh, most strokes if you get to the emergency room within three hours of when your symptoms onset. The problem is that more than 70% of patients don't get there in time. What we're trying to do with technology is create something that can help integrate stroke treatment into high-risk patients so that they're really ready to recognize you know, stroke when it happens. And when it does, they're able to, uh, they have an additional tool to help them make the right decision as to whether or not to seek treatment. We're thinking this would actually be the, the potential stroke victim who would have this. Um, our initial efforts target uh, high-risk patients um, uh, in the 90 days after they have a mini stroke, which is a stroke that happens and then goes away within 24 hours. Uh, and that's a very high risk population. So we can give these devices to them to help them identify um, a real uh, stroke in the following months. Uh, so we have a custom designed, uh, it's a plastic prototype that's uh, printed at Stanford's product realization lab. Um, and then uh, we have some custom electronics that talk with the iPhone and some pressure sensors um, for, do, for detecting how hard you're squeezing. Um, so we start just by asking basic uh, well-being questions. Do you have a headache? Yeah, okay, yes, I have a headache. How long ago did it start? Uh, a few minutes. Uh, feels like it's on the left side of my head. Do I feel numb anywhere? No, I don't really feel numb. Um, we ask them a few cognitive questions as far as image recognition, um, both the image and the words on the, the button. And these are mental facilities that uh, could be affected by uh, stroke. This is essentially a, a brand new uh, invention we came up with for determining how wide and where your peripheral vision is. Uh, and so our goal is, you know, sometimes when you have a stroke, like the right half or the left half, top or bottom, can, can essentially disappear from your vision. Um, and so we want to figure out a way to detect that. And so what happens is you actually put this up to your nose, um, like such, and then the uh, device displays stimuli for you. Um, and so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Imagine my thumb is the nose. And so it displays buttons and we actually, you squeeze to say that you see each individual light. And that's how we know that you actually have a full visual field and that you're still healthy. And our next step is to move into a trial with 150 to 200 uh, patients. Give it to them for 90 days and see if we can actually um, decrease the uh, uh, likelihood of permanent disability due to another stroke.